What's going on, everybody? Terrell Friday here with Future DDS. And on this installment of the DSA series, we have Ms. Kendall Lane from Marquette University School of Dentistry joining us. How you doing, Kendall? I'm good. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Best I can be, you know? <laughs> right, exactly. I mean, during this whole thing, it's that's all you can hope for. Like, yeah, exactly, exactly. We'll make it through, but I definitely want to say thank you for taking some time out, you know, and, and you know, we do have a little extra time now, but definitely still set some time aside to speak with us. On yeah, this. of course. Happy to do it. Awesome. So if you could, you know, just give everybody out there, all the viewers out there, a brief reintroduction, um, you know, reintroduce yourself, tell everybody where you're from, you know, what year you are. Uh, as well as when you went to undergrad and what you, were, what you majored in. Sure. Okay. So um, I'm Kendall. I am originally from Columbus, Ohio, and then I went to Miami University, also in Ohio, not in Florida, <laughs> for undergrad. Um, I was actually a marketing major, which uh, was a decision kind of secondary to dental school. So I knew I wanted to be a dentist. And then basically had enough room in my schedule to get a marketing degree. So I decided that that would potentially be helpful down the road if I wanted to own a practice or anything. So, um, yep, majored in marketing. I spent four years there after high school and then I did go straight into dental school. I didn't take a gap year. I just applied um, and went straight there. So now I am a third year dental student at Marquette University in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, so all the pre dents out there, I'm um, sure they're wondering, we were wondering, we were trying to get into dental school as well, um, the DAT, man. So what's, what's your number one tip on how to do well on the DAT? So uh, me personally, when I was studying, I think the thing that was most helpful for me, um, I really liked using DAT Bootcamp. Okay. Um, I know that's like a pretty popular one, but I feel like that more so than really anything else I tried was good for kind of making sure um, that I was understanding the material and was able to answer the questions appropriately. It was also really helpful for the PAT portion, um, just because I feel like obviously everything else you can study for and you should have kind of learned in the past, but the PAT, it, I mean, there's really no better way to do it than just to do a bunch of practice questions. Yeah. So um, that was kind of, I would say the main thing that I used I did take it over the summer, which I think was really helpful. Um, I wasn't taking any classes at the time. And I was just kind of like working part time. Um, and I feel like I was really able to kind of focus on all of that. I took it the summer in between sophomore and junior year, which I know a lot of people like to wait until after junior year. But I do think that, that was really nice because it would have given me more time if I had needed to take it again. Um, obviously, like the goal is to only, you know, to do a one and done. But if you do have to take it again, I feel like it would have given me more time. Um, and just because I didn't really have any distractions, I wasn't taking classes or anything at the same time. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. It all worked out. But, you know, everybody everybody has to find their own, you know, even balance. So Yeah, exactly. So whatever you, whatever you think is going to work best for you to not be um, too stressed with school and the DAT. Right, right. So for, for most students out there, you know, they understand the concept of, of being a well-rounded applicant. So, you know, when you're trying to build up your resume and everything, uh, you look for these like perspective or feeder programs or like enrichment programs. Does um, Marquette have any type of enrichment programs for prospective students, um, especially specifically, specifically, I'm sorry, that want to go to Marquette? So um, one thing I know that we do have available for any pre is our American Student Dental Association puts on two really awesome events throughout the year. Um, they do a pre-dental pre -dental weekend in the summer. So um, that's currently planned for July. They're hoping to keep it the same, provided um, stay-at-home orders and everything aren't extended that long. So they're hoping to keep that in July. I'm sure there will be updates on that. So that weekend's really great just because you do get to come into the dental school and um, they help with interview prep and just kind of go over things about applications. Um, you also get to do things like practice taking x-rays. Um, we have a bunch of mannequins for that. They get to uh, take practice pouring up casts, some, some fun more dental related stuff that you might not get to do otherwise. Right. Um, and they also have some fun social events as well. So the pre-dental weekend is really great. And then we also do a pre-dental day in um, usually sometime in the winter that is kind of like a more condensed version of that. So I think those two events are really great. Um, 
As far as Marquette's undergrad, since I didn't go to Marquette for undergrad, I don't know exactly right. um, what kind of clubs they have available, but I do know that Marquette has a seven-year pre-dental scholars program. So with that, you do three years of undergrad, and then your first year of dental school kind of counts as your senior year of undergrad. So it's kind of a way to do both in seven years. I have a number of friends who um, did that and really liked the program and have been doing very well in dental school with that. Nice, nice. Okay. Yeah, I've, I've heard of that recently. Like, I didn't really know they had too many of those, but I guess right. that's... Uh, yeah. I would say that would be more for people in high school. Um, right. So if you're a little bit younger, that's something to look into. But yeah, it's... Obviously, I didn't partake, but it seems like a great program. They really liked it. Okay, so, um, you know, after you finish doing all these things and you, and you decide, okay, I'm, I'm going to apply the cycle, how many schools did you actually end up applying to, you know, when you when you finally push that submit button? Um, I applied to five. Okay. And then ended up, um, I ended up being between three in the end. Got you. Which I do think, like, when I was kind of looking at my application process, I do think um, going a second time around, I probably would have applied to more. Um, I just had like a general idea of where I wanted to go. And then I kind of applied to um, a handful of others other than that. But um, I would think I was a little concerned about being overwhelmed during kind of the fall interview process. Mm -hmm. um, but looking back, like I said, I probably would have applied to a couple more than five. Got you, got you. So how was your, uh, your interview experience at Marquette? How did you, you know, if you could walk us through the day, kind of how you felt and uh, walk us through that whole process? Yeah, so the interview process at Marquette is pretty straightforward. Um, you either come for a morning and lunch or you come at lunch and then stay for the afternoon. Gotcha. Um, there are four sections to the interview day. So, um, and you'll go in a kind of a random order. They split you up into four groups and then cycle through just depending on which group you get put in. Right. So you have your interview. So um, we do multiple mini interviews where um, at least when I interviewed, you went to four different stations and there was a um, dental school faculty or an area dentist at each station. Okay. Um, and so you just kind of rotated eminence with each. Um, it was just pretty much like conversation type questions. Um, depending on who you were talking to, some of them were a little bit more, I would say, um, easygoing and kind of just seemed like they wanted to get to know your personality. And I think some were trying to kind of evaluate. They're asking more of like the typical interview type questions. Right. <clears throat> so uh, overall, though, I feel like it was a pretty, um, pretty relaxed interview. Uh, wasn't anything out of the ordinary. And then the other portion of the day, there's a student panel. Um, so that you're just in a room with two students and you can ask whatever you want. You can ask about the school, about life living in Milwaukee, um, really just anything. So uh, definitely have some questions prepared for that. And then there is a tour of the school, which a student takes you around, just kind of shows you everything. Another really good time to ask questions. And then there's also a meeting with our student services. So they can talk a lot more about um, financial aid, where to live on campus, all that kind of stuff. Um, so overall, I think it's a it's a really nice day. Uh, it gives you a pretty good idea of what the school is like. Um, yeah. Okay. Got you. Okay. So after you you know you wrap up the interview, you you finally get that acceptance letter in the mail. You realize you're going to be going to Marquette. Um, you know, as a first as a D one. How was it that first year for you? You know, the transition into school. Um, kind of kind of you know, just tell us about first year, how the curriculum's laid out, and how you guys introduced the clinic. Yeah, definitely. So um, I think Marquette does it really well. Uh, we started, we had a couple days of orientation, which I feel like everyone is always super nervous for just because you don't really know what to expect. Right. Um, but I think Marquette did a really great job of making sure we had uh, plenty of social events and orientation. So I got to meet people really quickly. I didn't really know anyone mm -hmm. um, coming in. Um, obviously, I'm, I'm from out of state. Marquette's half in state, half out of state. So a lot of people did know people originally, but I didn't know anyone. And after um, orientation, I, feel, I felt like I was already very much at home just from meeting people throughout that process. Right. Um, and then I feel like we kind of just jumped right in. First year is a lot of um, your lecture classes, which is 
it's not really what everyone looks forward to in dental school, but I like, do think it's nice to kind of get that foundation laid and just kind of do that. And then you're able to focus uh, all of your efforts on uh, the more, you know, the clinic That's aspect of dental school. school. Right, exactly. Um, especially since as much as you don't necessarily need to know everything you learn in those first year courses, the basic science courses is important for boards. So um, we had a lot of that. And then uh, we do some courses in the sim lab as well. So we took uh, uh, pres res, so learning how to drill and fill. And then we had dental anatomy, learning how to wax. So that was pretty much the bulk of first year, but Marquette's also really good about getting you into the clinic, assisting and taking x-rays really early. So um, like a couple weeks to a month into dental school, most of us were having our first experience is actually like having our hands in a patient's mouth, which I thought was really cool. Yeah. And I do think it was really helpful making the transition a lot easier um, by the time you were actually in clinic full time. We also started doing profies the end of your very first year. So you do your first one in your classmate and then D1 summer, you're actually doing profies on your own patients and okay. kind of that whole experience. So I think that that was great just because, again, it made the transition process of being full-time in clinic much easier. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. So, um, you know, last few questions here as we start to wrap up. Um, what is something that is unique to your dental school experience? And granted, you know, you only have your, the, the Marquette dental school experience, but what's something that you feel like it, it has been unique to you? Um... I would say a lot of our extracurriculars. Um, I feel like extracurriculars are super important just to making dental school a, a an enjoyable experience. Right, um, just because I feel like those like camaraderie events are awesome just to kind of remind yourself that you're going through this with other people and friends um, and you're all kind of like doing the same thing. Uh, so one event that I can think of in particular that I feel like sets Marquette apart is something we unfortunately had to cancel this year because of um, uh, the whole crisis that's going on right now, but we do an event called Mr. Moeller. And um, basically what it is, every class one through four offers up a contestant. Usually it's a guy, but um, really just anyone from the class who wants to offer to participate. Mm -hmm. And um, it is like a beauty pageant, talent contest. They sing songs. They just get up on stage and they just um, really just perform for the whole school faculty come and it's just like this it's it's a huge production a ton of behind the scenes work goes um, this is a, I think an event that is not only really fun but displays the personality of Marquette mm -hmm. really well um, it just kind of showcases the the fun environment that their students create so I think that event in particular kind of sets us apart yeah that's cool that's something very unique I haven't heard anything like that like a pageant like it's, it's pretty dope I like that. It's really fine. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay. So last question, um, as we close, uh, if you could go back in time and tell yourself, you know, any words of advice, um, you're the younger version of you while you were still applying to school, you know, going through the whole application process. Um, what would that advice be? Um, I would say when you're going through the application process, um, enjoy it as much as possible because it is a really cool experience to get to go see different dental schools and um, you know, just getting to visit different places. But when you're actually at the dental schools, really try to gauge how, um, you know, not only what your education is gonna be, but what kind of your overall experience, you know, um, how friendly are people when you're there? Does it seem like somewhere that you would wanna, that you wanna spend every day of your life for four years? Um, I feel like that piece of advice can end up being really helpful when you're kind of like looking at the final decision um, obviously things like the cost of attendance and all that is important, but this is such like a, um, it's an investment into yourself and it's an investment into like where you're going to spend four years. So, um, I think if I had just focused a little bit more on that, I think I would have come to the same decision that I came to, but I think it would have made the process a little bit, um, more straightforward and easier for me. Got you, got you. Okay. Well, definitely want to say thank you, Kendall. Uh, that's going to wrap up the interview for today. Uh, you know, on behalf of all the audience, myself, Tyler, uh, Future DDS family and everything, we want to say thank you for, for spreading some wisdom and, and giving your perspective on Marquette today. Yeah, of course. Thanks for having me. Yeah, no problem. If you could, you know, if anybody out there wants to get in touch with you um, to ask you any questions about Marquette, maybe, you know, pick your brain about your journey into dental school. Um, mm -hmm. I guess, could you drop your Instagram or, you know, tell them your Instagram so that they can, they can reach out to you? 
Yeah. So my Instagram is pretty easy. It's just at Kendall Lane, um, K-E-N-D-A-L-L-A-N-E. My first name only has one L. So it's K-E-N-D-A-L-L-A-N-E. Got you. Okay. We'll make sure we put that down in the description box so everybody can get in touch with you if they have any questions. But again, thank you for everyone out there. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you hit the subscribe button, the like button, and the notification bell so you know whenever we post up new content. Uh, if you have any questions for us, for Kendall, make sure you drop it down in the comment section. If you have any questions for us, my, Tyler and myself, uh, head over to Instagram, follow us at underscore future DDS. Um, send us a DM there. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. But that's going to wrap it up for this episode. Thank you again, Kendall. Uh, best of luck and um, best of luck to through, through the rest of dental school. Yeah, thanks you too.